All right, let's have a look at how to do this color blocking effect. This can be done in Breeze Booth for Windows and also the iPad app. So let's jump across into Breeze and have a look how we've done this. So once again, we'll go into our print layout editor and let's see what's going on here. So behind these images, I have a background that I've, uh, that I've imported and that is basically my uh, four different colors. So we've got blue, uh, purple, red, orange, and yellow. Then for each image, what we've done is assign a color wash to it that matches the block of color behind it. So for the blue corner, we've got a blue color wash. And for the purple one, we've got a purple, so it's matching. And same for yellow, etc. So that's a pretty easy setup so far. So uh, we've got four images. Now these could be four separate images, but in this example, just to keep it simply, I'm just repeating uh, the first image of the session uh, four times. So I've got our layout basically sorted. Now the next thing we need to do for this one is also enable AI background removal. Now you could also do it with green screen, but AI background removal, I think, is just neater and cleaner and you don't need a green screen. So we won't go into too much detail about how to set that up today, but I've got that running through remove.bg. So I've just added my uh, account details and linked that up by hitting the setup DSLR remote pro button. So that sets up pretty much everything we need to do that. Uh, when we start the photo booth, uh, particularly when we're doing the AI version, we just press uh, Control G to go into our green screen settings. And I've just enabled um, green screen. Even though it's AI, we still need to enable green screen. Um, but I've just put our slide up, um, our green slider all the way to the right, which essentially disables the green screening aspect of it. Uh, but then I've enabled transparent background. So basically, uh, when we capture the photo, remove.bg will process it, take the background out, and send it to the print layout uh, with a, as a transparent image, essentially. So that's what we want. So that's all ready to go. So we'll run a session and see how that goes. Now, because it is using remove.bg, it does take a little bit longer to process because it's sending the image up to the cloud and then back down again. But it is pretty quick. So let's see. And there we go. Uh, so we have the uh, single photo that we've replicated uh, four times on the layout, uh, each color blocked to the uh, color behind it. So I think this is actually a really effective sort of uh, thing to do. Uh, if you think about maybe if you're working with a brand to go with brand colors, or if you've got some sort of uh, really colorful event, this would be a great, great little trick to use uh, for a pretty impressive output. So if you have any questions, uh, as usual, just ask away in the comments.